TV besties, what's good? Y'all already know the vibes. What is good, y'all? I'm your girl, Asha. If you are new here, I do recaps. Basically, we chop it up, talk about what's going on in our favorite episodes, on our favorite TV shows. So stick around for a little bit, watch a couple of videos, you know, see if you like it, girl, so you can subscribe to the channel. And if you do, make sure you bang that bell so you get notified whenever we I drop a video. I always want to say we. Who is the we? Who is the we? It is I. It is me. Okay, yeah, but anywho, y'all, back, bad is West, bad is West, y'all already know the vibes, y'all already know what it is, let's go ahead and talk about it, get into this good old recap, so sit back, relax, you know, let's chop it up real bit, I enjoy y'all comments down at the bottom, so make sure you leave your girl some feedback, some love, some of your thoughts, drop some hearts, some purple hearts, because your girl's favorite color is a purple, so let me know you made it all the way to the end of the video, so don't do it right now. Way to the end. I need you to watch this all the way through. But y'all, y'all already know the vibes for Baddies West. It is always a ki 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 bop 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 bop. I mean, you know, so I don't really need to give out y'all like no low for one. I don't be trying to give out long out drawn out recaps anyway. That's just me. I just like to get to the nitty gritty, talk about what I want to talk about, and then be out of here with y'all. So basically, you know. It's all cleared up. At the end of the day, basically, it sounds like Razor just basically has a particular issue. Or she just don't basically ride for Scotty like that. Like, I fuck with Scotty. Like, like I said, like, last week, like, she is one of the girls that's one of the coolest girls. She really don't have beef with anybody. She's just one of those cool chicks who kind of just get along with everybody. But, nonetheless, Razor has an issue with her. Because the fact of the matter is, all the girls agree, like, everybody was, not everybody, but, of course, Sean was touching on you, whatever, whatever, whatever. That might not have been an issue. But for her, for Scotty, pulling down her, you know, panties or whatever, panties, line, or, she wasn't pulling down her panty line. That's not possible, Ash. Pulling down her panties to see the tattoo on her panty line was clearly just a violation for Razor. Basically, like, yeah, you violated me. You, your touches was whatever. You're trying to see this tattoo, whatever. It was a violation. And basically, I want you to clear space with me. Don't touch me. Like, whatever, whatever. Let's just leave it at that. I think... One, I don't think Scotty's threatened by you, Razor. Like, I, I don't see that. I think basically for her, it was just like, like, yo, like, I'm just wanted to see your tattoos. We were all having a good time. You was just letting Krishan, like, rub up on you, whatever, whatever, whatever. Now, why is it that when I touch on you or just wanted to see a tattoo, it's this whole to do. You got me all up in this energy. You wanted to fight, whatever, whatever, whatever. I will feel some type of way too. Like, and I just think that's just the, you know, the person I live for. I'm thinking that we cool. Now, all of a sudden, you just got an issue with me? Like, how? Like, how, how did we even get here? Like, I'm going to give you this energy if this is the energy that you want. Nonetheless, boom, squash, da 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 now, here go Natalie, being Natalie, like, all right, because Tommy did, like, play a big role in, like, trying to, like, you know, get Scotty and Razor, like, on the same page and figure out, like, what, what that was about. So, Natalie just felt like, like, yo, if you could do that, like, you could sit down with um, Baby Girl again, like, what is her name that I really, did, for some reason, can't stun a girl. Um, you can sit down with her, try to hash it out, whatever, whatever. But Tommy's energy and Stunner Girl's energy, that's just not going to happen. Because at the end of the day, Tommy being a vet in this game, 40 or not, Stunner Girl, like, let me, let me just check you real quick. It's some other rappers out here that's, if not 40, pushing 40. And I do mean female rappers. I don't think Cardi B is that old, but Nicki Minaj, I'm saying that she's tired, but the girl still got bars. If the women, uh, okay, is, is it a double standard? Can the men out here be that old and still rocking the mic and the girls cannot be that old and still rocking the mic? Because when you got it, you got it. It don't matter how old you are. Because at the end of the day, Tommy don't look like she's 40. Tommy's a fine ass 40-year-old. And maybe just the older that I get, you know, I'm more in defensive of like, you know, and realizing that what we, what I used to call old is not really old. And these young bitches, like, y'all think because we get a little old and like, nah, we ain't and we, we just get better. We just get better with our shit. And if anything, like, y'all feel like, because, like, nah, I, th I think y'all the ones that's, like, really the ones that's, like, intimidated. Like, that's fine, boo. You young, you tender, like, whatever, whatever. But don't think ain't nothing tender going on over here, too. Like, I get it. Like, y'all be so quick. Like, why y'all want us to move out the way so bad for y'all? Like, we, if you got what you got going on, there's no way that what I got going on is stepping on you or even knocking you from getting what you got going on. Because if you like that, you like that, period. So, like, 
the like well, it's like what else can she come for like you come for the big bitches calling them big you come for Tommy because you know you know she's just older what else can you come for her for besides the fact of what's out here in social media about charges that she got whatever whether she's on drugs or not like whatever like I just digress either way it's just not gonna happen Tommy going to stand on what she's standing on. Like, we know how Tommy get down. And I feel like at the end of the day, like, Stunner Girl already had, a, 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 like, you know, it already went big for her kind of, like, on the reunion. When I just say not the reunion, on the, not the tryouts, but y'all get what I'm saying. Like, the, it was kind of like tryouts, but, you know, y'all get it. Like, when they're trying to figure out casting, when they basically trying to figure out, like, they're going to bring on some new girls, what type of new girls. Like, it was already up, and it was on camera. So, low-key, I feel like Stunner Girl just wants to prove herself, like, in a way. Like, she going to know, like, nah, I'm about that. It's going to be this. We going to fight. You this. You that. I'm going to beat your ass. Like, just all that rah, 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 rah shit. I feel like she just got something to prove at this point, and that's what she's doing right now. That's say what you want. That's just how I feel about it. And even just even like getting down to the performance, it's really going to be short, y'all. Because I mean, like, what like what what else really is to talk and chat about besides what's been going on? I mean, a lot of y'all, I was giving like, am I about to do this recap? Because this is just like what it is. Like, y'all ain't giving nothing to talk about but some freaking fights. And your girl about to talk about something else besides some fights. Like, can we just see what's going on? Or maybe I'm just ready to talk about some new fresher stuff that's like what's going on like i'm tired of natalie always just trying to like bring and make peace if this don't show you if this last thing did not just show you that they not going to be good they're not going to make peace this is always going to be this energy it's always going to be up it's time to let it go it's time to just let it go move on they show that they can be in the same space even though tommy was just like nah like she was ready to go she pulled up in her own sprinter van like i ain't ride with y'all hoes i ain't fucking with y'all so they perform you know they get to the club you know stunner girl apparently does music um i'm honestly just not impressed she sounds like the rest of these girls out here talk about shaking ass and badass pussies and all that like hey whatever it, it do be a bop but at the same time i be wanting some freaking bars thank you natalie for coming with the freaking bars i want something that we can vibe to that don't even necessarily have to be about popping pussy i know i get it we like to pop pussy we like to like twerk ass like but okay it was cool it was nothing that i'm not hating on her it just wasn't a song that made me be like oh yeah i'm gonna be wanting to pop my butt every time to that song like she cool i'm not saying it was bad it just sound like she just sound like somebody else that i've heard before that's what i'm just saying like that even down to her voice mainly like her voice and maybe i just felt like maybe i might have heard her before i honestly don't think so but maybe i have but i just feel like she she sounds like other people Roly definitely came with it or whatever or whatnot like all day like bars like the girl was just getting it in and then like come on now Krishan it's a vibe it's just like that song and I can understand why she went last and technically like Krishan like we want to admit or not Krishan like is this show a lot of people are here to like see what she gonna do Rolly is definitely a fan favorite so I'm not taking away from her but like Krishan like is it Krishan is always in the blogs these days that song it's a vibe is is the is a late it's the latest song not taking away from any other girl other the girl's song but it's really what's popping out here and what people are resonating with and every time I even hear it like it has not got old to me yet I immediately get into it's a vibe all the time. It's a vibe all the time. I'm, I'm didn't even though she being a whole, she in her whole raspy man voice. I feel like we're just thinking I'm over here trying to be cute with it or whatnot. But that's what it is. So I'm 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 sorry, Tommy. I love you. I love you to death, baby. But but no, you it won't right for you to go last. No, that just it it went how it went. It went how it went. But why the frick is Sky here if she's not going to be DJing. She's y'all DJ. And clearly, yeah, she's here to keep, you know, rock in a good mind. But, you know, maybe was there some technical di difficulties this go round in Vegas, whatever it is. But I'm going to keep questioning what is Sky, what is, um, Sky doing if she's not DJing for the crew. Because isn't that why she was also brought on besides to keep Krishan at peace? 
Like we 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 got to make that like like figure that out. So because this is just a check in, we we'll, we gonna call this even though a recap. We gonna call it like a small check in with y'all about this episode, and that's where I'm at with it. I am about to hold y'all on because that was mainly it about it or whatever or whatnot. So. Things are always up. Things are always up with these girls. So we're definitely going to see like what's going to happen next week. Y'all come back here for a small little check-in because that might be all that it is. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>